Keith, first home game in 19 days, and you come back from 15 down in the second half to get a win. I, I can't imagine that you couldn't be happier with the way your team performed well, in the second half. Yeah, so I mean, we're just absolutely ecstatic. I mean, our team needed a win so bad. Uh, just for confidence, for momentum, uh, stop the bleeding, and and uh, really for confidence more than anything, you know. And when you play five out of seven on the road, and you stub your toe at home last time you were here, uh, it's tough. It's tough on the players, and uh, you know, college basketball season is a long grind. Conference play is a grind, and and uh, I, I sensed the weight of, of the world on them, you know, as we got back. But you know, we kind of had a good week of practice, and. You know, at halftime, you could you could tell they're starting to drop their heads a little bit, and so all that combined, I'm glad we had such a great second half, and uh, they came away with a win. Troy, you know, built that win by pounding the ball inside. Really had a hard time with their bigs, but in the second half, you went small, and that gamble really paid off. Well, it, the, we went small, and we doubled the post going small. That's what really uh, helped us there, and kind of took their low post play out. When you do that, you open up the floor on the weak side for threes, and you hope and pray that the other team uh, doesn't make a bunch of threes on, on the other side, and, and they didn't. And uh, made a few, but not many. And, and then when they miss those threes, you, got, you're not, you don't have good rebounding position, and, and uh, that's where Marvin Jean-Pierre came in so big, I thought. He got 10 defensive rebounds in the second half. So uh, every now and then, this, this kind of uh, – Defense and offense, five guards uh, will work for you. Uh, and certainly glad it, it worked this time. I don't know, every every game or so we get surprised by what Michael Ertl has done as a freshman, career high, 22 points tonight. But just talk about the way he's evolved as an offensive player. He's doing more than just shooting a three now. Yeah, he's, you know, we talked about that earlier. He Earlier in the year, he was just kind of making three-point shots. And, and uh, you know, we got him uh, – putting the ball on the ground a little bit, driving it, and uh, uh, he's developing a mid-range game. He's developing a little game, you know, all the way to the glass, and it's been nice to watch and uh, his improvement in that area. And it's helped our team, too, because we need it. And uh, so, you know, he's doing great as a freshman, and uh, he's done more than we could ask for, I can assure you, and uh, really happy with him. I know at times this team has struggled to close out games. Big job by Sam McDaniel tonight, making free throws down the stretch to ice this one. Again, when you when you play small, you you know you worry about uh, late game situations, and uh, uh, but fortunately for us, you know we kept scoring, and the free throws by Sam McDaniel were big. You know that thing could have turned real ugly there for a minute had we had he missed uh, you know some free throws there, and and in the past he has, and and in here, and so it was nice to see him as a senior step up, make the free throws like he's supposed to, and us close out the game. Had played three straight conference road games. Now you're at home for a little bit of a stretch. How important is this moving forward to maybe build some momentum and confidence? Uh, very, very big uh, in terms of momentum and confidence. And, and again, I'll say the confidence part maybe more so than anything. You know, I told him uh, the other day in practice with five out of seven at home, I said, you know, I, it, we don't have to win them all. I'm not putting that kind of pressure on you, that, you know, that type thing. But, uh, but we need to get going in the right direction and, and, and prove that we're a team that can win. And, uh, uh, and so confidence. And, and I think in that locker room, that's what we saw after this game. And that should help us on Saturday.